the entrance antiphon. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. Good morning. Good morning. We bring our intentions to the Lord today. Have so many people and things we need to pray for. Along with your intention, my intention today is for the deceased members of the Golden and Janowski families. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free, so stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ. You who are trying to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let Have your mercy, mercy come me, to Lord. me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy, mercy come to me, me, O Lord. Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your, Let mercy, your mercy come be on to me, me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come be on to me, me, O Lord. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim his gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thought of heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. be with you. Amen. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clear, clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I was a freshman in college and uh, just had my first set of exams and we were coming home for Thanksgiving and uh, down, uh, down Loris Boulevard and we got hit broadside. The guy that was driving ran a red light, and my head was right there, <clears throat> and it busted out a window. And uh, everybody thought everybody was okay, but they said, how are you doing? I said, I'm just doing real fine, and you know, we have to just praise God in the midst of these kind of situations because he always brings good out of evil. And they said, okay, fine. And I said, we have to just praise God because he always brings good out of evil and everything's okay. And I said, we have to just praise God because he always brings good out of evil. They realized something wasn't right with me. <laughs> they realized it before you even did. Well, I had a concussion and I don't remember any of that going on at all, uh, but I do know several hours later, I woke up in Findlay Hospital and the first thing I noticed was a crucifix right in front of me. And I remember feeling so consoled, you know, that I, that symbol of faith that Jesus is right there. And I said, oh, okay, I'm not sure what happened, but I know Jesus is here. And I felt very consoled. And the person next to me was, you could tell they were in some kind of pain, you know. And, and uh, so I was just kind of coming to... And then I was thinking about my life. I, I didn't have a near-death experience or anything like that, but I was thinking about my life. You know, I just finished my first set of exams. That meant so much to me. I was starting to teach Taekwondo. I mean, I thought that was so, you know, at that time I could actually jump over people and break some boards with a flying sidekick. Now I can barely waddle across the road. But, you know, and I was thinking about all sorts of things that are seemingly important. And I realized it was kind of, it was, a, it was a very deep conversion experience, a deeper conversion, I should say. I really realized at that time in my life that it doesn't matter so much if I ace or flunk the exam. It doesn't matter so much uh, how many boards I can break in Taekwondo. The thing that hit me more than anything is the only thing that really matters when you come to your end of your life is did you believe in God and did you live that belief out in love? Did you act it out in love? So did you, were you a faithful person and did you live your faith out by loving other people with the heart of Christ? I realized that when we come to the end of our life, that's the only thing that's going to matter. And we kind of gloss through it quickly like normal, you know, the readings, but it's in the first reading today, Galatians 5, 6 at the very end. It's, you know, and this is, at that point, it became the motto for my life. You know, it's kind of my saying that I wanted to live, my mission statement, how I wanted to live my life. It, 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 so I'm going to, I write it out very fancy in, in, in uh, Latin. Fides que operator per caritatum. Faith which, fides que, faith which operator works itself out per caritatum through love. Caritatum's charity. Okay? Faith which works itself out in love. And that's what Paul says. He says, nothing really counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Okay, so 
you want a really good focus, you don't have to take my motto, but Paul says it here, and, and Jesus pretty much says it, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two great commandments. So that's pretty much the focus. So whatever we do in our life, wherever we go, whatever, whatever's happening, we have to say, you know, all these other things that seem to mean so much are going to turn to dust and pour through our fingers. The Lord's only going to look at, at this when we come into his presence. Did you connect yourself to me in faith? And did you authentically then live that faith out in love? We can get so caught up with so many things. And Jesus today talks about having, don't just look good on the outside, but cleanse the inside of your cup. Cleanse your soul. Cleanse the inside of your cup. How do you do that? By having genuine faith and by giving alms, by really loving. Giving alms means to be generous and kind and loving. That's what really matters. Faith which works itself out in love. St. John of the Cross says that faith is the only proportionate and proximate means to union with God. What brings us into union with God? Faith. Simply saying, first of all, God, I believe you exist. exist. Second of all, you say, and I surrender to you in total trust and obedience. And when we do that, he says, okay, you're connected to me, the God of love, and you're surrendered to me in obedience. Love you, the Lord your God, with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's, that's the rule. That's the rule. But John of the Cross also says that in the even time of your life, you will be judged by love. Let us now bring our prayers to the Lord. <clears throat> we pray for Pope Francis <clears throat> as he continues to lead the church. May God look graciously upon his every need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our local and national leaders. May Christ uh, show them the way of authentic servanthood leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who struggle to provide for their house, for themselves and for their household, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our faith community here, gathered today. May Christ's peace reside in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those who have died. May God's high light shine upon them as they enter into his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your intentions that you bring here today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. During these 40 days of life, uh, we also pray for a profound conversion of mind and heart to all people to understand the preciousness of life from the moment of conception through each subsequent stage to death into eternity. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we ask that you would hear these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, the rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. For those who are watching at home, we now make a spiritual communion. Jesus, we believe that you are here in this church. We believe that you are with us in our homes. We accept you into our heart and we give our heart back to you. Bring us into union with you and through our union with you, Bring us into the embrace of the beautiful embrace, the holy embrace of the Holy Trinity. Amen.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a wonderful day.